Welcome to our review on the factors affecting photosynthesis. So first thing we actually need to know about is this term limiting factor. Now, whenever we're talking about a limiting factor, we're referring to something that is going to affect the rate of photosynthesis. And basically, it's not going to let it go any faster. So we have three limiting factors as far as we're concerned for photosynthesis. First one is the light intensity. Second one, the concentration of carbon dioxide. And the third is the temperature. So one thing we actually need to do in order to actually compare how different factors affect photosynthesis and its rate is to calculate the rate. So in order to do this, all we do is one divided by the time it takes for that measurement to occur. So that if you were looking how long it takes to produce one centimetres cubed of oxygen at different light intensities, then all you do is take the actual unit of time and divide one by that number. So as long as you can do that, then you can compare all those different rates for the different conditions. If we take our first factor of light intensity, then. So what we actually find is we've got the graph of our rate versus light intensity at the bottom there. So what we can see is that in that initial period, the higher the light intensity, the faster the rate of photosynthesis. But we find that as we keep increasing light intensity, eventually we hit a point where it levels off. Now, that's just down to the fact that light intensity is no longer the limiting factor. So you'll always see that exact same shape of graph when we're looking at light intensity affecting photosynthesis. Our second limiting factor that we're going to look at is the concentration of carbon dioxide. So if you look at the graph at the bottom there, you'll notice it looks pretty much the same as our one for light intensity. So initially, increasing the concentration of carbon dioxide leads to a faster rate of photosynthesis, but we hit a point where it then plateaus or levels off. And at that point where it's leveled off, it just means that carbon dioxide concentration is no longer the limiting factor. The last factor we need to consider in terms of its effect on photosynthesis is temperature. Now you'll notice from the graph on the right there that this is different to the other two we've looked at. And the reason for that is that photosynthesis is an enzyme controlled reaction. So hopefully your brain is now sitting there saying that graph looks just like the ones for enzyme reactions affected by temperature. And there's really good reason for that. It's because if photosynthesis is an enzyme controlled reaction, you will see the exact same pattern happening with the enzymes of photosynthesis as you would have enzymes of anything else. So initially, we've got that period where increasing the temperature increases the rate of photosynthesis because the enzyme and the substrate have more energy. Therefore, they're moving faster, more likely to collide and therefore react. We hit the optimum where it's working at its fastest rate. And then as you go past the optimum temperature, we see the enzymes being denatured. So the bonds within the protein are broken. The active site has changed shape and therefore the substrate no longer fits, so the reaction can no longer occur. So make sure that you remember the three different limiting factors for photosynthesis of light intensity, carbon dioxide concentration and temperature, and you can explain the three different graphs that you would expect to see.